What is going on guys? Welcome to a new video. So today then I'm going to be showing you three trending products that are going to be absolutely huge in 2019. And if you've been following the channel then you'll know that I don't always put out the same content as everybody else. I mean, I'd like to show you guys new things. So these three products then, they're a bit peculiar. You've probably never seen them before. So I'm also going to be taking you through the different marketing strategies of these products and show you guys ultimately then how you would sell them successfully on your Shopify store. So that being said, thank you for tuning in and let's get straight into it. What is going on then guys, welcome to my computer. So let's jump straight into it actually. And this first product, when I first stumbled across it, it come across as a bit of a shock because if somebody had said to me this product, if somebody had said to me that bamboo toothbrushes are absolutely huge and everybody wants them, then I probably would have laughed in their face a little bit and just kind of disagreed with them. But you can't lie with what Google Trends says. And I'm also gonna be showing you the product on AliExpress as well. And when you see the order numbers, um, it's probably gonna shock you guys as well. So. Um, if you watched the previous video where I did trending niches of 2019, it got a lot of good feedback and I used Google Trends in that video as well just because it gives you a lot of really important and valuable information actually because as you can see then you just put your search term in here and it gives you the interest over time and as you can see since about 2015 the interest has grown and grown and grown and as you can see it's carrying on so there was a little bit of a dip here but naturally you will get dips and gains every now and again but i see no reason why then this won't continue into 2019 now it's a bamboo toothbrush and i don't believe that it's bamboo for no reason obviously bamboo is um, an organic and natural material and recently especially in the UK and probably America as well actually there's been a big thing about plastic and how we need to find alternatives so this is probably one of the reasons then of what makes this product um, so popular like at this point in time um, and another great thing then about Google Trends is the fact that it tells you exactly what countries are uh, or where the demand is for this product as well. So you can see quite clearly that New Zealand is where the strongest demand for this product is. And you can target people in New Zealand and go and dominate that market or that space on Facebook. So um, that being said, I wanna show you guys the product on AliExpress and, and just take a quick look then at these order numbers because they're just absolutely massive. So 45,000, 16,000, 5,000, 4,000, and that's just the top line as well. It carries on all the way down the page, 4,000, 3,800. And even if, if, even if we go near to the bottom um, as you can see the order numbers are still way over a thousand so um, really strong potential there and really strong signs actually that this product is really in demand and people are just buying it up at the moment so if I just open up this bestseller just to show you guys a couple of things um, number one is the fact that there's a video for this product as well which is awesome because this is great marketing material you can use now obviously I recommend getting the permission of the supplier before you go and plaster this all over Facebook but nine times out of ten there's absolutely no problems with them using it at the end of the day you're selling and promoting their product and the more money you make the more money they're gonna make so like I said nine times out of ten they're not gonna have a problem um, and then feedback another thing you can do in Aliexpress which is really good is if you go on feedback then you can actually filter it by the actual country as well now if you scroll to the top if you change the ship to to a certain country then it will give you the option down here to view reviews from that country so if we wanted to view from the United States for example and then you can do with pictures as well so this is this is like real people in the US who have taken the time out of their day to come on Aliexpress and post pictures and a review of this product so it's great feedback and it's a great way of kind of reinstilling in your mind and clarifying that an actual product is um, genuine and a good product to actually go out and sell. Now, in terms of marketing this product, um, as I briefly mentioned earlier, I don't think it's bamboo for um, a random reason. It's probably because it's an organic and natural material. I'm not sure if you can even get organic materials. It's definitely a natural material though. Um, and I can see people being not just interested in bamboo toothbrushes, but other bamboo products as well. So I've seen bamboo watches on AliExpress. So the whole idea of building a bamboo Shopify store where you sell just natural material products, um, I think would work really, really well. And people aren't necessarily clued up about all the different kind of products you can get uh, made out of bamboo. So if you get them onto your store, then they might see two or three where they think, oh, that's pretty cool. I didn't realize you could get a bamboo watch. If I just show you guys, in fact, uh, bamboo, if you just click space, in fact, uh, AliExpress will give you suggestions. So you can get bamboo watches, bamboo bags, bamboo sunglasses. So if you build up a store um, in the bamboo niche, then it'll be really easy to dominate that space, or at least I think it would because 
Um, I've not seen many people do it. In fact, I don't think I've seen anyone do it. I've definitely not seen anybody um, advertise bamboo products on Facebook. So definitely a niche worth looking into. Um, and like I said, if you can get somebody who's interested in this, like natural product products made out of natural materials, get them onto your store and you have all these different materials made out of bamboo, then they might just buy like every single one just because they think they're pretty cool. So if you have a look at bamboo cups, I'm like, they're pretty cool. And if somebody's never seen them before, then it's that novelty factor and that whole saving the environment thing, which is a really strong emotion to, to play on on people when it comes to marketing. So um, yeah, number one then is definitely the bamboo toothbrush, or if you like, then the kind of bamboo niche as a whole. So that being said then guys, that's product number one. If you're still watching the video and you enjoyed that first product, please do leave a like on the video. Um, I really do appreciate it. I think the previous video got to about 35 likes. So if we can beat that, um, that'd be absolutely awesome. Anyway, moving on to product number two then, which is the unicorn bag. Now, again, this isn't just some random product that I've plucked out of thin air. Um, I did stumble across it. I always check search terms against Google Trends because it just doesn't lie and it tells you instantly if there's an interest or if there's a dying interest or an interest that is gradually getting more and more popular. And it also tells you the country as well, which you just can't beat because it immediately tells you where to where to pretty much start advertising this product. And another thing to mention then is this is these two boxes at the bottom, so related topics and related queries. And these are like just different little avenues that you can go down and start exploring. So for example, unicorn bags, which was the initial search term. But as you can see, there's unicorn sleeping bag, unicorn school bag. And what this tells me then is that especially parents buying for say their children, there's a massive demand. Their children absolutely love unicorns. So again, you could build a Shopify store purely around unicorns and everything in your store then have a unicorn on. So you can have... If you just scroll through these queries, so you could have a unicorn bag, a unicorn sleeping bag, unicorn school bag, unicorn diaper bag, and if you get a parent um, onto your store and they have a child um, that absolutely loves unicorns, they might end up buying three, four, five things, especially this time of year for Christmas, if the child just loves unicorns. Um, you can have unicorn teddies, obviously, a lunch bag, backpack, and I could just see a parent, if they have got that child that loves unicorns, just completely like going a bit crazy this time of year and just buying them say four or five things um, and it's great opportunities as well for things like upsells cross sales um, and bundle offers as well and just to show you guys then the potential or the sheer size of this market then i've got my ad manager account open i've got the unicorn interest and if i just hover over it as you can see it's over 50 million so it's absolutely huge um, definitely a lot of room in there to make a lot of money um, and the potential reach as well is over two and a half million people. And I believe that's just the UK as well. I've got targeted. Um, it is. So there's definitely room in there to flex down as well. And I always recommend flexing down because it just kind of focuses down on a particular audience rather than being so broad, especially to start with anyway. So the market is huge, definitely room to make a lot of money there. Um, so I'll just show you guys some products and then kind of talk about how I go across marketing this. Um, so as you can see, then pretty much any products in the unicorn niche is probably going to sell pretty good. Um, but I've filtered this as just unicorn bags and by number of orders as well. So as you can see, the order numbers are pretty decent. Now, the reason why none of these are that huge um, like in comparison to the bamboo toothbrushes is probably just because there's so many different designs. Like if they... Like looking at this, they, these are all from these top three are all from the same supplier. So if they'd combined this into one product listing, then obviously it would be that a number of orders combined. But obviously they want the eyes on their products or the eyes on their designs, as many designs as possible. So if they had combined them into one product listing, say um, somebody coming in and searching this search term might not have seen these two designs here and would only see this one. So that's probably the reason why they've done it. Um, now I think I showed you on this previous. Uh, product, but to get product ideas and if you just put unicorn in and then click space um, it's going to give you lots of different um, ideas for products and you can see the number of results as well so you can see immediately like which kind of ones are most popular or which ones are getting the most um, search uh, search terms or which one has the most products essentially so in terms of marketing then like i said i think a shopify unicorn store would work really well um, and just sell products just any product that has a unicorn on it and you could do facebook and instagram as well i believe uh, there's there's bound to be instagram pages that are just completely focused on unicorns and for people who love unicorns so you could approach them um, ask them to promote your product put a post out or feature on a story whatever it is um, and, and as i just showed you on facebook as well it's an interest that you can actually target um, so there's room for this to work on facebook and instagram as well 
So that being said, then that's product number two, moving on to the third and final product, which is the LED mirror. Now, the reason I believe this is just going to be huge, especially in 2019, um, is purely because there's so many different avenues in which you can go down to advertise this product, especially on Facebook. Like there's so many different interests. So you can target cosmetics, you can target people by what they do for a living. So makeup artists might use this. Um, you can target different age ranges. There's just so many different avenues and things that you can go about marketing this product on Facebook. Just makes it a great product because there's so much scope. Um, there's so much scalability as well. So again, I want to show you it on Google Trends just to show you guys that there is an increase in demand for this product. And I don't think I've showed you this, but if you hover over it, it gives it like a number. And the higher that number is, then it basically tells you where the peak interest for that product is. So if we hover to the very end, December 2018, so this is where the peak interest is. So that what that basically means is that this product has never been as more popular as it is now. Now, obviously, we're in December, so the search rates are probably inflated a little bit. But with, with social media just getting bigger and bigger and influencers like the Kardashians, etc., then products like this, like the LED um, selfie case for your mobile phone as well, products like this are just going to increase, increase, increase. And as you can see, it slowly and steadily has. Um, and I see absolutely no reason then why that would slow down in 2019. Again, it gives you the different regions and countries you can go ahead and target. And then there's different related queries, obviously, that I've showed you guys before. So this is the product, then there's many different variations. Um, if we search by, if we filter by orders, then we'll be able to see the most popular one. And in terms of marketing this product then, um, like I mentioned earlier, like it's so vast, there's so many different avenues. You could spend hundreds of thousands of pounds advertising this if you really wanted to, because there, re there really is that many people this will appeal to. Um, and plus you could do Facebook and Instagram on this. This product would work really, really well with Instagram influencers, because there's loads of Instagram, influencers out there that are based around um, kind of like how you do your makeup or cosmetics where they do different reviews of different products like this or different uh, makeups or makeup brands and getting somebody with like a decent following to endorse this product and do a video with this product. So the ultimate example then would be if they videoed themselves doing their makeup using your product and people could actually see them using your product, how well it actually works and stuff like that is just absolute marketing gold. Um, and Facebook would work really well as well because obviously you can target different, like I mentioned, different uh, makeup brands. Um, Again, different famous people, so people who like Kim Kardashian or people I don't know, I don't really know the space, but people who just um, are really big into, or someone who's built a really big following on social media or perhaps have got a really popular blog. They're just There's just so many different ways you could go about advertising this product. Too many to mention, in fact, in this video. But if you guys do want help, on how you would market any of these products or any product uh, in that instance, then feel free to reach out, leave a comment down below, um, get me on one of my social medias, all the links are in the video description. Um, and that being said then guys, I'm gonna wrap the video up there. If you're still watching, thank you very much. Please do leave a like on this video if you enjoyed it. Um, or if there's any products that kind of grabbed your attention that you've never seen before. And if you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you do that as well for videos every other day then um, on this sort of stuff, so anything dropshipping related. And that being said then guys, I'm wrapping the video up there. Thank you for tuning in, thank you for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one.